Hi everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, your man from MoviePix, and this is part seven of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. And here in part seven, we want to take a look at a feature that Adobe has put a tremendous amount of effort into upgrading here in version 2025, and that is titles. Titles can be created in the program in a couple of ways, depending on how elaborate you want your title to be. You can create just a basic title or text on the screen. That's fairly simple to do. Or you can use one of the templates and create a pretty interesting motion title. And I'll show you how to do both of those right now. To create a basic title or basic text on the screen, all you need to do is go down to the timeline and left of the timeline, select the T for text button, position your cursor on the screen itself, click and type. This creates our basic text title. We can drag over that to select it. And then of course, over here on the left under titles and shapes, we can modify the title by selecting a different font. Uh, we can set a color for it. We can set a style for it. We can set whether it aligns left or right. And then if we go over here to align and transform, we can actually select whether it aligns to the left of the screen, to the right of the screen, to center, and again, vertically, whether it aligns to the top, the bottom, or the middle. And then we can manually, just by dragging over these position numbers, we can set it to an exact position on our screen. And that's how you create a basic text title. You can do more to it than that, of course, but I don't want to go into that now. That's a whole different tutorial. Let's go ahead and delete that off our timeline and we'll take a look at some of the title templates, which we can see by going over here to the left hand side, selecting the titles and text button on the left hand toolbar and selecting templates. Now there are two sets of templates. You may not have anything under my templates yet, but they're all available under Adobe stock. And here you'll find about a hundred of them. Once you use one, it will appear under my templates. So what I have here in my little library are templates that I've used in my movies or in my practice. And I'm going to select the cursor title template. These are animated and some of them are very, very interesting. You can see the animation just by hovering over each of the titles, but I'm going to drag cursor title to my timeline. There we go. Notice it has a specific duration and that duration is because it also has an animation to it too. There it is, my title, and I can select a segment, for instance, the word title, call it summer fun. And I can customize the text in the other part also, June. And then of course, just as I could with any title, I can position it where I want to by dragging on the alignment and transform area here by dragging on the various numbers, just clicking and dragging, positioning that where I want it to be. Now this is animated and we can see the animation simply by putting our playhead back here to right where it begins and clicking play. And you can see if you slow it down here and drag through it, you can see that the text comes in from the left. And then the other text comes in from the right and it moves into position. Now you can customize the animation in any one of these templates. And you can do that by cracking into the titles and shapes panel over here on the left, changing the appearance, changing colors, adding shadows. And that'll change the look of it. But if you select the title on the timeline and go over here to the toolbar on the right and select effects controls, you'll see that you can get really deep into it and really affect the animation itself. As a matter of fact, if I open up the effects control panel or the keyframe controller, you'll see that there are a number of keyframes that have been applied here to creating various animations, creating various movements. And in some of these templates, there is a lot of animation and a lot of activity going on but you can tweak it yourself here if you dare. <laughs> I prefer to use the templates kind of as is. Your titles can be used in most cases overlaying your video, as in this case here, or it can be used in place of video. Let's go to the end of our timeline here, pressing end. I can drag one of the title templates. And actually use it as text on my timeline. All of this text is, of course, modifiable and customizable 
for your particular movie. So a lot of really cool stuff here, well worth exploring in the title templates. Like I say, Adobe has done an awful lot here in version 2025 to really step up with this and make much more professional looking titles. Now, our movie is just about done. It's time for us to output our movie and we're gonna do that here in part eight. I hope you join me for part eight of our eight part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. It's been a lot of fun building our movie and now it's time to share it with the world, right? See you in part eight.